learning them. I don't care actually if you, well, I don't, okay, I don't care if you love them, but you better understand them. They are really quite simple. Okay, they really are quite simple to do. Um, some of you, let's be honest, Algebra 2, whenever that was for you, when you first were introduced to them, first of all, they're always a hazy concept. It's just kind of shady and you're like, what? Logarithm, that sounds weird. But it's also the, one of those years when you're in high school where, you know, there's more pressing things on your mind than logarithms. Okay, and so you're kind of like, what? And you don't really get it. And then later on, you kind of go, oh, yeah, yeah, but you don't really get it. This is the time when you truly will get it, is in calculus. And I promise you will, okay? Now, it's kind of like this. I always tell my students that it's like if you've ever gone and boiled pinto beans, they're like hard as a rock. And you boil them for about three hours, and you're like, nothing's happening. And then all of a sudden, the weirdest noise comes from the kitchen. Because all of a sudden, all the water is gone. And the pinto bean just goes, poof, swells up. That is how this one, this one of these concepts that will happen for you today. Well, maybe not today, but in the next couple of days. Your little pinto bean of a brain is going to swell up like so. Okay? It's just going to make sense. Pinto bean will talk. Pinto beans. Where are you at, man? What are you doing? I just got another laptop. Does that one not work? Nope. It says there's no domain. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, that one. Yeah. Really? That one was the one that was working. Well, we'll try this one. Mm. Okay. I'll try logging into it. Okay. Oh, I don't care. It's just it feels like we're wasting time. But okay. Anyways, that's what we're going to be doing. Okay. So, now what do we know about them? Let's start over here. Let's just start here with this off doll kid. What do you know about logarithms? Usually they're to the base of ten. You're out. Well, okay. On the calculator, it's log base ten. Though. So if you just see this feller, it's base 10. I'm digging that. What do we call that kind of log? Has a name. What's that? The Not the natural log. This is the common log. It's common log. It's base 10. Why do we have base 10, by the way? What's up with that? What's that about? Why base 10? Right here, folks. What is our numeral system based on? <gasps> Base 10. Okay? So, base 10, this is common log. I would argue that I don't know that that's the most common one because there's another one which is the natural log, which is base what? Base E. It's the common log. All right, then I write common log. It's the natural log. Natural because it's the log base. The natural number. Nice. They see if you're weird, you can use log base seven if that makes you happy. It would work. It's doable, but that's weird. So we're going to stick with these two, and primarily we're going to use ln. Okay. Um, we're going to use that most of the time. The only time I'm going to use log base ten is if it's base if it's ten to the something power. Otherwise, I'm going to use an ln every time. Why? Because when I write log of something let's say 75 or something like this. You know what that looks like to me? Looks like 10G. It confuses the bejesus out of me. I'll come back and look at it tomorrow. I'm like, why did I write 10G? Oh, it's log. It's weird. It's really hard to screw up LN. Okay? It doesn't look like anything else but LN. That's me. Okay? All right, what else do we know about them? So bases, those two bases primarily. What's up? Zach, what about? What else? I don't know. Connor? Place? Oh, I forgot. What about you? You gonna join the club? Oh, look at that. She gets a little hand motion. Oh, let's go here, Jacob. You're supposed to make my mind pop. What? My mind to pop. It will by the time we're done. I'm asking what you remember by them, Angel. No, Angel, come on now, bro. You got, you got one of the best scores in that quiz. You, my friend, you should know something about them. I have faith. Patterson talked you up a lot last year, by the way, so just saying. No pressure or anything. But. What? Yeah, no pressure. No pressure. No pressure. All right, so for goodness sakes. Isn't it the inverse of exponents? It's the inverse of exponents. That's true. But in reality, 
A better way of saying it is this. A logarithm is an exponent. Because if I write the log base 10 of 1,000 is 3. Why? Because 10 to the 3 is equal to 1,000. Hey, that's pretty good handwriting, Jay. Hey, thanks. Go. Cool. All right. So wait a minute. So the log is an exponent. Well, if the log is an exponent, it shouldn't it be shouldn't it obey the same laws that exponents do? Yes. I feel like it should. Now, think about the exponent rules. If you have x to the m plus n, what does that mean? Doesn't it mean, check my math, but I think it means this. True? Nice. So, my question is simply this. If you add the log of base, anything, B of A, plus the log base B of Q or something, look at this. You are adding logarithms, so you are really adding exponents. That's right. And so what this should be equal to, it should be equal to the log, that looks like a Q, that's, an, that's a Q, let's make sure that looks like a Q. It's like a person getting mad. There, there we go. It should be the log base B of A times, oops, times Q. And that's one of the rules. That's it. So when you stop and think about this, Mr. Groom, Mr. Patterson is still on the board, I sure I just, I, 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 Mr. Patterson. You know, whatever. Throw your teacher under the bus. It's fine. I know it's fine. They do it to me too. It's okay. But when you write this crap on the board, like, where'd that come from, bro? It came from right here. You're adding exponents. You're adding exponents. What are you doing? You're times it out. Well, what are you timesing? Times a times q in this case. Okay. Now, lest you do not believe me, pick a number. Any number. Go. Twelve. Twelve. Pick another number. Thirteen. Thirteen. That is 156, the last I checked. Pick me another number. Single digit, please. Seven. Weird that you would say that, because that's exactly what I was thinking. What is the log base seven? Now, don't put, put it down. Don't touch, don't touch it. What is the log base seven of 156? You're like, I don't know, Mr. Groom. This is hard. OK, watch with me. Seven to the zero power of course, is 1. And 7 to the 1th power is 7. And 7 to the 2th power is... And 7 to the 3th power is 343, obviously. Okay. So here's my question. If I said to you 7 to the what power is 156, what would you guess? 2.5. 2 2.5. Now, I don't know if he's right, but let's find out. So I'll whip out the old calculator. Now, obviously, there's a faster way to do this. You're like 2 to the 2.5. Not to 2, you jerk. 2 to the 2.5. That's 129. What was I shooting for, 156? Yeah. All right, apparently, that's not right. Mr. Grimm, try 2.65. Okay. Ooh, that's too much. Ooh, that's too much. Um, mm, let's go get rid of that. Maybe put a little 2.6. Mr. Green, isn't there a better way? Of course there is. Don't be ridiculous. I'm just playing around. Okay, so 2.59, da, 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 da. Yes? Clearly there has to be a better way than this route. So you're like, well, wait a minute. What would happen if we had this base 7? Because I don't have a base 7 on most of our calculators. If you bought the instinct, you do. But the, we, mm, I don't teach it that way. So let's start off with something a little different. We'll come back to this one in, a few, in 10 minutes, I promise. Well, 15 minutes. Maybe 20. I don't know. We'll get back to this. I promise. But what if I said base 10? Well, wait a minute. The only thing that would change is, obviously, how many times you have to times it by itself. So 10 to the 0, obviously, is 1. 10 to the 1st power is 10. 10 to the 2th power is 100. 10 to the 3rd power is 1,000. So what would the log of this be? 2 point something, yes? 
2.1 ish or some such. So this one I can do on my calculator. So whip out your calculator. Now, this one, the TI-89 does not have log unless you go hunt for it in here somewhere, which I find thoroughly annoying. So I just always use LN because it makes me happier to do that. Alpha. Yes. And you could type it in too. That's just too much to remember. Thank you though. Thank you, I do, I appreciate that. It's just, I can't remember all that crap. Uh, so 2.19. Okay, or whatever. Yay. Now, well, wait a minute. The rule says that if I do the log base 10 of 12 plus the log base 10 of 13, it should equal 2.19. That's what it should equal, right? It should be the same. Well, now, wait a minute. Check it out, dog. 12 is right next to this fella here, yes? So the log of 12 should be one point a very little bit, yes? <coughs> yes, okay, hit me. What is the log of 12? 1.08. Oh, 1.08. And what is the log of 13? It's about 1.11 oh, um, 1 .1 or something. <laughs> that plus that is that. What do you know? Does it work for anything? It does. It does. As a matter of fact, we'll do it for base 7 in about 10 minutes, as I say. Okay, we'll come back and hit him again. Nice. Now you're like, what are we getting? Why do I care, Mr. Groom? It's not like we're doing slide rules anymore. You're right. In calculus, we're going to do cool things like this. Later on, you're going to get a function that looks something like this. Well, no, maybe it'll be ln. The ln of xy. And you're like, I don't want to look at it like that. Okay, don't, Zach. Look at it like this. Because that might be easier to work with. And in fact, it is sometimes. But sometimes this is disgusting to work with, so sometimes you want to be able to go back that away. And we can use it to make our lives easier. Like, we will never go, I wonder what the, the log of 156 is. You know, I could have done that as 24 times 4, too. So what's the log of 24? What's the log of 4? Plus them together. What do you know? It's 2.19. Okay? That's weird. No, not 24 times 4. 24 times 156? Well, I don't know. That was 96. That doesn't going to work. But you get my picture, okay? 12 times 13. No, it won't work at all, you idiot. 26 times, 26 times 6. That's what I was going for. 26 times 6 would have given you the same answer. Okay? It's weird, but knock yourself out. Here's a question for you. But wait a minute. What if you have this feller? What happens when you divide? You subtract exponents. Oops, not there, you idiot. There. Wait, wait, stop, 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 stop. Screw the... F uh, stop it. Let's write it right, Mr. Groom. There you go, idiot. That's what I meant to write. There we go. So what would the log rule look like? It would look like the log base B of somebody minus the log base B of somebody else. I don't know, C or whatever, I don't know, whatever. And that's equal to the log base B of A times C. That's it. You can rewrite it out. Just rewrite it. So, what, yeah, so there it is. And so that's just the division rule. But that's all it is. I see division. I see subtraction of exponents. Subtraction of exponents, that's the same thing as subtraction of logarithms. What? What's wrong with that over there? Why did not somebody freaking stop me? What should this say over here? For God's sakes, A over C. Why is it A over C? Hi. Any of you folks interested? This would be the one of the classes you might want to talk to. Any of you guys interested in doing some tutoring? Tell you what, get her phone number and name and stuff. I'll ask around. But, okay. Yeah, because I have some other kids that are not in here right now, but they would be somebody to talk to, too. Okay. Yeah, seventh grade or just regular math? Seventh grade, yeah. Okay. All right. Sounds good. Yeah, just get a name and number, and I'll, I'll, get, I'll get back to you. Okay, thank you. Uh -huh. All right question on this. It's not that hard, is it? 
So, Lacey says, why do you always use 10 right now? Because I can do the math in my head, relax, okay? 75 over uh, 19, I don't know, whatever, I don't even know. 75 divided by 19 is four-ish. It's four-ish, are you with me on this, right? It's four-ish, it's 3.95 or something. You don't quote me on that, but it's something in that neighborhood, okay? That makes sense? Now, remember, 10 to the zero power is, of course, one. 10 to the one power is 10. So since this is about four-ish in there, you're, you're expecting an answer that is what? Between zero and one. Geez, I'm not shocked by this, okay? So, what is the actual answer come out to be? Point six. Point six. I'll buy that for a nickel, that works, all right. Now remember, that is supposed to be equal to the log base 10 of 75 minus the log base 10 of, you know, 19. Now wait a minute. It doesn't take a real rocket surgeon to know that this one here is going to be one point something, am I right? It's going to be one point something? A fairly healthy one point something, yes? Because it's approaching 100. This one is going to be one and just a skosh because it's a little closer to 10, right? So what are the answers there? For a log 75 is 1.88 and 1.28. Well, looky there. Who to funk it? Nice. Again, not going to throw numbers in after today very much. Mostly we're going to use this to rewrite problems to make our lives easier. That's more what we're into. Okay? Now, what if I had this feller? What if I had this equation? How would you solve that? No, you would not take the LN. You are solving. So you go this direction, yes? Any subtraction or addition to get rid of? Mm, no. Any multiplication or division to get rid of? I feel like there is. Let's get rid of the 100. Well, you know, I clearly just use the I feel like all the time just to mock, you know, the way kids talk these days. This girl the other day Mr. Green, but you always say I feel. I'm like, I'm literally mocking you because you're the one that always says that. She's like, oh, she really thought I felt about math. You know? like now, how do you get rid of this, uh, this E to the 3T crap? What's up? You take the log, right? Because the opposite of this fella, right? Opposite of this is division, opposite of that is multiplication. The opposite of exponents is logarithm. Which brand of log would you like to use? I want ln because that part will go away. So, what happened when I did this over here? You might recall this little fella comes out front. But why can it do that? Why can it do that? That's true, but why can it do that? How come? I don't know. You tell me, Mr. Green. How come? Oh, I'm glad you asked. Good for you. We'll come right back to that. It's because of this. Right? What are we doing here? It's a power to a power, right? And what do you do when you have a power to a power? You write it x to the m times n, right? And that's the power rule, right? Power to a power? Cool. So what we're going to have is this. When you have the log base b of anything, let's just say to the r power, you can bring the r out front and write it like this instead. And you're like, well, why can't I do that? I've got the answer. If you do this, that's the same, isn't it not? And this right here, because it's a logarithm, is an exponent, yes? It's a power to a power, isn't it? And so what do you do? When you have a power to a power, you multiply the two exponents, yes? That's all that is. That's why it works. It's a beautiful thing. So that is why on the previous page I was able to bring it out front and look at it. So let's go back there. Okay? Now, ooh, what is the ln of e? How do I know it's 1? Because what is 
b to the first power. Anyone? 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 I feel like it's b. Another way of writing that is the log base b of b is 1. And because the base matches the what we call the argument, because the base matches the argument, it just becomes 1. So when I say ln of e, that is another way of writing the log base e of e. And so therefore it has to be 1. It's the same way the log of 10 is 1. Okay? So what happens? ln of e, gone. Gone. Divide by 3. Can I get a number on that? ln of 5 divided by 3. Point five four, beautiful. Point five four is my final answer. A lot of stuff there. You got to get a diddle fart around with to actually get to that answer. What does that mean, Mr. Groom? It means that if you put point five four right there times three e to that power times one hundred, you will get five hundred. Yes. Now, I didn't get to have you people for algebra two, so I didn't get to draw this picture for you. And they say I'm not an artist. Mr. Groom, that looks like a toilet. Yes, it is. If you've ever had a little brother in the house when they first learned how to do this business, right? the little ledge right here, if you don't keep that clean, what do you see? You see exponential growth. That's what you see. Okay? Now, how is it that I can see that many bacteria? There's a lot of them. There's a lot of them. So when we do this problem, it might be something like this. Mr. Grimm, there was originally 100 bacteria and I couldn't see them. They are growing at 12% per hour. Wow, that's moving right along. When will it be 2 million bacteria? I don't know. Pretty soon. Pretty soon. So how do I solve this? Well, I divide by 100. So that gives me 200 like that with an extra zero, I guess, 20,000. I think. And then I take the LN of both sides. Now I use LN. If you want, if you're weird, you're certainly welcome to use common log. It doesn't matter this time because 1.12 is neither E nor is it 10. So you can do whichever one makes you happy. Now, I am not going to get a number here. No, sir. I am going to divide by this fella. And I'm going to type it into my calculator exactly like it looks. If you are working with, you know, plutonium and whatnot, I really don't want you rounding until we are all finished. Okay? If it's bacteria, you know, just go squirt some Lysol on that crap and kill it. It's fine. But if it's plutonium and whatnot, we prefer to see the answer written like this and then get an answer, which is? 87 hours. Less than four days from now, there will be 2 million bacteria on there if they're growing at 12% an hour. That's, that's moving right along. Oh, it does. No, 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 no. Watch carefully. For things like, for instance, wolves or sheep or critters of that nature, there is a upper limit to how many they can be. She, uh, fish, for that matter, in a pond or what have you. Bacteria, it's really hard to contain bacteria. And they don't really need a whole lot, right? So they grow pretty fast. Now, technically, it is, there is some upper limit. So yes, once, once they've taken over your bathroom, they're pretty much going to stop. I mean, sort of. I mean, eventually they'll run out of stuff. But bacteria is one that's, for the most part, is exponential. Now, most things in life grow like this. You know, your grandma's, oh my God, honey, you grow like a weed. It's logistic <laughs> growth, right? She's talking about this part in here where you shot up like three inches in two days or something. And I didn't hardly recognize you, honey. Uh, yeah. Or like when you go from the little short, fat, pudgy kid, you know, to like, you know, six months later, because your grandma lives in Texas or something, and like six months later you look like this, and, you know. 
you know, you had a very steep, get it up, but then you stopped eventually, right? Populations do grow like this, rumors spread like this. In the case of bacteria, for the most part, I mean, hopefully you're killing the bacteria before they reach the carrying capacity. I hope you are, because that's weird. Because there's a lot of bacteria that could live in your bathroom before they start like an impacting each other negatively. Versus, you know, wolves and, and deer and fish and whatnot. As their population grows, they start to impact each other negatively because there's only so much food there that they can get with, you know. And so, but bacteria, eh, they can kind of do their thing. Now, so that situation is obviously a place where it comes in real handy like to do that. But one of the places we'll use that formula is more like this guy right here. So, for instance, if I said to you, what is the log base 7, I told you I'm coming back to it, of 19, let's say. We'll, we'll do your actual problem in a minute, okay? Which of you might don't know? What do you mean? You, are you saying, are you literally saying you don't know? That is, you don't know, it equals x? That's, that's what I'm saying, yeah. Remember, this is logarithmic, logarithmic form. And you can always convert back and forth between these fellers. So if you have it written like this, you can write it in exponential form how? 7 to the x is equal to 19. Wait a minute. Isn't that problem the same thing we just solved literally two minutes ago, basically, with the bacteria? So what are you going to do? You take the log of both sides, aren't you? Now, what you, you want to do log this time instead of ln? Sure. Okay, good. That's what I like about Angel. He's so amendable. Sure, why not? Yeah, okay, sure. So the log of 19 and the log of 7. So it's going to be x log 7 equals log 19. What would that come out to be? 1.5. 1.5. In other words, 7 to the 1.5 really ought to be 19. Now, if you've rounded ridiculously, Mr. Grimm was actually 1.55, I just rounded down to 1.5, then it will not equal 19. As a matter of fact, it may look nothing like 19. So, it would behoove you to include enough decimals so if you wanted to go check yourself, all right, that it would be nice. No more than a couple for my benefit, okay? But know that if you're going to go check yourself to see if it's right or not, you want to make sure you include some decimals, okay? What? What is it about to be? I'm just asking. Right, but if you do, what is 7 to the 1.5? Equal to 18 and a half. Oh my gosh, it's not 19. Okay, but if you do 1.51, 18.8. Oh, that's pretty close, but you get the gist of it, right? So, but if you round it too much, it can look really ugly, really fast, okay? So, just be aware of that. What's that? So, like 7 squared is Right, 7 squared is 49. Or, or, or here's my favorite one. 0 0.707 squared does not equal... 0.5. But the square root of 2 over 2 squared does equal 0.5. Nice. But Mr. Groom, that's pretty close to the square root of 2 over 2. It's pretty close, but it's not the same. Okay, so just be aware of that. Now, a few minutes ago I asked this question of Lacey somewhere. I didn't forget about it. It was this one right here, 75 over 19, wasn't it? Wasn't it? But it was the log base 7 of that. Seven one yeah, oh, 156. One one oh, okay, let's try that. Log base 7. Oh, that's right, 156. Right, 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 right. Now, we could do it a couple of ways, but listen, let's just do this. What does it equal? I don't know. By the way, I think one of the most frustrating things as a student is seeing that problem. Mr. Graham, this is like my fourth year of algebra, and I feel like... There ought to be an X somewhere. It really bothers some people. Honest to God, it used to bother me. It's right there, dude. Just put it on there. And then it's going to be 7 to the X, of course, is 156. And then take the log of both sides. Oh, look, Mr. Groom, you used LN this time. Yeah, good for me. Good for me. 
Bring this feller out front. So x ln of 7 is equal to the ln of 1, 5, uh, 6 -er. That's a fab question. Let's see. Here's the question. The question has been asked, does this equal this? What does this one come out to be on this side? 2.5, What does this one come out to be? The log of 156 over the log of 7. Oh, geez, it comes out to be 2.6. Weird! You know what that tells me? It tells me this. And this is the rule. It says this. If you want to take the log base B of A. That's what we want, right? It is equal to the log base anybody of A divided by the log base anybody of B. I could not memorize that formula to save my life in high school. I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. I would end up with them backwards, upside down, backside. And my teacher never one time said to me, you know, stupid, not that I'm aware of, I can't remember it. This is what I would have said to me. You know, stupid, if you get 2.6 for an answer and you went 7 to the 2.6, it really ought to equal 156, right? Because that was the original question. But no, Mr. Groom kind of thick back in the day. I was the guy, you know, that the coaches said, you're pretty smart for a football player. Yeah, thanks, that hurts. Okay, so be aware that when you're done, does it make sense? All right, does it work? But I would always get them upside down, bass backwards. It only works for log. No, it only works. No, it works for any kind of LN, any kind of thing. Now, I never use like base two here, but if I wanted to, could I? Yeah, it would work. But that's weird. I either use this one or I use this one. That's just what I do. I, mean, I, those, I use one of those too. I and mean, personally, I use LN. It's just me. But you can use either one. Now, here's a fab question. That's a good question, by the way. Mr. Grimm, this is called the change of base formula. Do I need to memorize it? Well, I got away, I got away without knowing it. And I did that because I always did this. I went, well, I feel like, um, well, if I see this, I always transformed it to this. And then I always transformed it to this. And then I took the log of both sides and solved for x. Now, that's, personally, that's how I do it. Now, people like Levi and Brandon and those guys, well, I just memorized the formula. I've already memorized it. It's in my mind. What is so hard about that? I'm like, well, because you're smarter than I am. <laughs> okay. Uh, Mr. Green was not the brightest bull. So that's how I got away. That's just how I did it. And I, and I know that because I've been doing this crap for 20, a lot years now. So I, I've, I've not forgotten this crap anymore. But when I was first starting out, dude, come on. No, there's got to be an easier way. And that was the easier way, I think, the easier way to do it. All right. Now, here's my question. Lily's going, can you shut up already? I know, I'm, I, I too am tired of hearing me talk today. Okay. But Lily, suppose I wanted to rewrite this problem. Suppose I wanted to rewrite that as a single logarithm, that is just the log of something. How could I write that? Well, first of all, well, from whence did the two come, Hallie? Where did it come from? It's sitting out in front of a logarithm. Where did it come from? Yes, it did, sister. It came from up here, so we can put it back from whence it came. And so we could rewrite this part as this guy here, like so. Ditto this business. Nice. Oh my gosh, I see an addition of logarithms. So I think multiplication. Seriously, Angel, you've got a little bit to live up to because Patterson, he, he talked the crap out of you last year. He talked about you all the time. I 
said, ah, Angel gets pretty nice. Oh, dude, he's amazing in pre-cal. He says, good. There it is. One single logarithm. Mr. Green, that looks grosser. That looks grosser than this guy. Sometimes it is. Sometimes this is a better way of looking at it in calculus. Sometimes this is a better way of looking at it in calculus. What would it have mattered if this had been a six here? No. They're different bases? Then you're screwed. <laughs> or are you? Could you change this guy? Could you change this fella to be in a log base six? Or six? You could. We're not going to do that though, okay? Good for you. We could, but we don't have to in this text because all we're really concerned with is changing the way stuff looks. Do we want it to look like this? Do we want it to look like this? And it will depend on the situation, okay? Sometimes one's nicer for derivatives, sometimes one's better for integrals, whatever it happens to be, okay? Um, Okay, this one's a little tricky-dicky here. Oh, I'm going to go to Hannah Morse. So I'll give you two seconds or three to, you know, think about how what you want to say on this one. I mean, you know, to kind of get excited about it. Or I would like you to write that as the sum or difference, and or difference, I should say, of logarithms. What would you do first? Well, I'm asking you. I'm just. I don't know anything. I'm just. Wouldn't you put the exponents back in front of? Feel like you can't do that until they look like that. You see, when they look like this, they could come back out front. You see. But they don't look like this yet. How? Ln. Ln. X squared. X squared. Plus ln y root 7. And then isn't it minus? It is! Ln and root 3. And then what do you want to do? Uh, and then after that, you put the exponents in front. How is this one different? So I'd be doing what now? Hang on, I'm, I'm, I'm trying. I was trying to try to do something here. I'm supposed to be able to copy that. Crap, it's not going to do it. Okay, I'm sorry. Go ahead. I'm listening. So it's going to be the what now? The who what? Do who what now? No! No. That's why I wanted someone to freak out a little bit. I, so, but Mr. Grimm, I feel like, I feel like it's x squared divided by this mess. Huh? Huh? So it should be the ln of x squared. Hannah, by the way, you're right, so I'm not dissing you. I'm just showing you algebraically. You just said, you just saw right through the BS, and you said, I'm just going right there right now, and that's good for you. Some of us can't see that necessarily right off the bat. So it's helpfler sometimes to see this. So I'm minusing this sum, yes? And then if you distribute, there's your two negatives. This bottom line is this. If you're dividing by two of these guys on the bottom, they're both down here, subtract them both. By the way, addition's commutative. Could you put this negative one out front? Yeah. Especially if you want to hear Levi cry about that they have a negative out front. 
My God, you you could see those people last year in class. Chittick, Levi, and several other ones. Mr. Grimm, uh, so the problem says whatever. So I would write, literally, I would do this on purpose just to piss them off. No! Oh, oh, why did you do that? I'm like, why not? I hate that. It drives me nuts. I'm like, okay, turn it around. It's weird. It was like, it's like that show. What was that show? That that monk, that monk guy, right? Like you know, you'd like do everything just right. Like, uh, relax, people, relax, man. We're the big kids now. We can do what we'll do what we want. Now, oh yes, here's a fun one. Question. Um, yeah. So, what is the ln of one? Or wait, the log base anything for that matter of one. Why is it zero? Put that down. Grr. Why is it zero? Because b to the what is equal to one? Zero. Every single stinking time. Every single stinking time. Mr. Grimm, is there any restriction on what b can be when you're doing logarithms? Does it have to be positive? Yes. Can it equal 1? Why not? You're right. Why not? Right. So 1 to the any power is just a big fat 1. So it gets really boring. I mean, the rules would still work, but it's totally lame. Yeah, it's totally lame. So yeah, it's just weird. So you don't do that. So 1 to the any power. And then you'd be like, the ln, or so the, the log base 1 of 152, that does not exist because 1, to no power equals 152. It doesn't work, okay? So it has to be positive. If it wasn't, what would happen? Because you get like 0.2 or negative point, so like you get something like negative 5. Negative 5 um, to the 1 half power, what would that give you? It would give you the square root of a negative number. Is that cool? No. So B's must be positive and not equal to 1 when you're playing these games, right? But if for every other B, hey, we're golden. We are absolutely golden. Not one of them won't work. They are, well, pretty much freaking amazing. Okay? Now, in section 1-6, you're going to get some things like the one we just did where you write them as a whole number. You're also going to get some of these guys. Something along the lines of this. No, 5 to the negative 2x, there we go, is equal to 1, 125th. Yeah, I'm kind of digging that. No calculators, put them down and back away. Now, what do you notice about both sides? Okay, they're both fractions. Okay, that's one way of looking at it. How do you know it's a fraction? So it's a negative. Okay, so I could rewrite this side as 1 over 5 to the 2x. I could do that. You can do whatever you like. That's right. What else do you notice about them? 125. I didn't pick that number on accident. I didn't pick 125 on accident. Hint, hint, wink, wink. It ends in a 5. Hint, hint, wink, wink. What goes into it? It's 5 times 5 times... Five. So this side over here could be rewritten as 5 to the minus 3, yes? This side over here, I'm just going to leave it as 5 to the negative 2x because it's weird the way you wrote it. But that's, it's not wrong, it's just weird. Hey, look, the bases are the same. What does that say, friends? I feel like the exponents must be the same then as well, yes? If the, expo oops, if the bases are the same, the exponents must be the same. So x is going to be equal to 3 halves, yes? So when x is 3 halves, those two sides should be equal to one another. <laughs> that makes sense too, by the way. What's two times, that's negative 2 times 3 halves? Negative 3. What is 5 to the negative 3 power? 1 over 125. What? Nice. Nice. There'll be questions like that on the test for you. On the, on the test. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to say test. On the homework for you. Not the test. The homework. I didn't want to freak Lacey out. I'm like, there's a test tomorrow. Now wait. This next one is going to blow your mind. Someone please tell me what is the log of 2. I'm just going to write some numbers down for you just for fun. Well, I'm going to call it fun. I don't know if you'll call it fun. 
So, what is the log of 2? Log of 2 is... It's not 5. What is it? Oh, it is a 5. Yes. What's the log of 2? On your calculator. Can I, can I get some help? 0 0.301. And what is the log of 3, just for grins? 0.477. And the log of 5 is... 0.699. Love it. Now, Mr. Grimm, why are you doing this? Well, I'm just going to show you something kind of fun here. If you're on a deserted island, and you found this red book, because somebody else had been deserted there years ago, this red book was published in the 50s or something. It has a table of logarithms in it. And then you decide, yeah, probably. And then you find some medical marijuana, man, and so you roll your own. It's a good, no, no. But you're like, oh, I could do some, I could still do some stuff, even if I don't have a calculator. But here's what I want to think about this. What is the, I, by the way, mm -mm. I want a deserted island. Thing number one, I want some water. Okay, make sure I got some water. Ah, it's a deserted island in, the, in this Pacific. I'm probably okay without a fire right now, but that's, it is top, top, toward the top of my list. I'm going to make a hammock. I'm going to rig up the fishing pole. I'm going to strip down and start working on my base tan. And I said, work on my base tan, get some water, do some fishing. Yeah, fire is definitely toward the top. Yeah, I'm not doing any math. Okay, it ain't happening. No, sir. So just be aware of that. When I say this, it's just kind of a, a sight gag more than anything else. What is the log of 600? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. 600, isn't that, the, isn't that equal to, check my math, the log, well, I'm going to write this way, 2 times 3 times 100. For instance, I could do this about 17 different ways. So that's one way to do it, yes? Hmm. Hmm. Wait a minute. Isn't that the same as saying the log of 2 times 3 times 10 squared? You're not wrong. But wait, since it's multiplication, couldn't I rewrite that as addition? I feel like I could. Oh, thank you, Lily. You're right. I could bring that two out front. Why'd you do it that way? That's so weird. Just go with me. It's fine. All right. Wait, the log of two... Gar said that's 0 0.301. The log of 3, well, Mr. Groom said that's 0.477. What's the log of 10? Put it down, back away from it. That's embarrassing. Let me get log of 10 real quick. Let me get log of 10 real quick. It's 1. Uh, so it's 2 times 1, which is 2, of course. And so I was just teasing, man. It's 2.778 or, or something. Is that right? 2.778, right? Yay. It's just teasing. It's all right. Now, that's it. Now, Lacey, for whatever reason, right here goes, Mr. Groom, you're ridiculous. You're right. I am ridiculous. Mr. Groom, 100, isn't that just 2 times 2 times 5 times 5? Or if you prefer, 2 squared, 5 squared. That's true, yes? Oh, my gosh, it's 2 cubed. Shut up. Nice. And then, of course, I could write it as a sum, but what is it going to be? It's going to be this 3 log 2 plus log 3 plus 2 log 5, right? And that should come out to be the exact same answer. Why do I do that for you? Just to see that you can see how we use these, move all the different laws around, okay? So you're going to be a lot of that kind of practice on the, on the homework tonight. This is section 1.6 stuff. And, and so as you're going through that, it, just be aware that you're going to be doing some of them. It's going to be pretty easy to do. Um, and solving them is going to be, eh, it's, well, I want to say it's going to be a good time. I'm not going to lie to you. Some of you might not find it fun. But it, it's actually a very fun stuff. But by the time we're done with this year, here, we're going to use these logarithm rules. Oh, my gosh, we're going to use them so much. Okay? But you will become to appreciate them because they are going to simplify your life so much. As a matter of fact, when you go to do derivatives later on, and you have this thing here, I don't even know. I don't even care. Whatever. I don't even care. And you're like, um, Mr. Grimm, can I just separate that? You can. 
you could write it as this plus this. Am I right? Mr. Groom, this is a constant, isn't it not? It is a constant. How fast does a constant change? It doesn't. So all I have to work with is this little piddly fart piece right here. What's the log of four? Is it in your calculator? If you hit, if you, oh, Betsy, is, what is the log of four? It will always be the exact same number, won't it? Okay, and you times it by three, is it the same number every time? That's what I'm saying. This part right here is a constant. It's not changing. So how fast does it change? It doesn't. But this is, an exp or is a variable. It can change. This part will actually have what we call a derivative later on. I don't care about this part over here because it's constant, so screw it. Get rid of it. That part over there I care about because that's the part that's going to change. Now, can I get at it from here? Yeah, I can. Is it harder? Yeah, it is. But then later on, you know, when I want to do the integration, this part here is disgusting to integrate. Ugh, that's gross. Well, that's not terrible, but it's not, it's not bad. It's not good, though, either. This is a little prettier. I want to go this route. Okay, cool. Good for you. So you can always go back and forth either direction, whichever is easier. Okay, so that's kind of the long and the short of logarithms for us. We'll still use them to solve equations a lot um, and use the power rule. Do that a ton. By the way, if Jacob, or Jacob, for God's sakes, if Johnston, you're told to solve this equation, Mr. Groom drops some radioactive gookumpucky, has a half-life of something like, I don't know, 25 years or something. Uh, when will there be, you know, oh, and, and there was initially 10 pounds of it or something. When will there be, you know, less than 0.3 pounds left or something. If you graph this, I will be on be upset at you. So what you want to do is you want to say 0.3 equals the original amount. And maybe you'll have an equation that looks like this, which, by the way, is the right equation. We'll talk more about it later on. But we'll have that equation. We'll have an equation like this. And you're like, hey, that's pretty cool. I need to solve for t. So I'm going to divide by 10 to both sides, yes? So that's going to be 0.03. I'm going to write this as this, if you don't mind. Okay? And then what do I do? I need to get this crap out of the exponent. How do I do it? Take the log. So it's ln of 0.03, t over 25, oops, ln, L, ln, oh, that's how I do it. It's been a while since I've tried that. Divide by, so it's going to be ln of 0.03 divided by the ln of 0.5 times 25, yes? Right? And we'll use that to solve that guy, right? That would be the time. It's going to be quite a few years, by the way. Quite a few years before this happens. It's, it's gross. I don't know what the answer is, but it's, it's going to be a while. So, you know, I mean, think about it. I mean, you know, it's going to go 10, then 25 years later you have 5, then 25 years later you have 2.5, then 25 years one and a quarter, and then I don't care after that anymore. Okay? So, it's 5 eighths and 5 sixteenths. 5 sixteenths is 0 0.31. So that's about eight times I did it, I think. Is that right? Eight times. Eight times 25 is 200, about 200 years from now. Sweet. Awesome. Anyway, we'll be doing functions like that this year to solve them. It's going to be a good time. You'll see. But mostly we're going to be concerned with them to help us when it comes to calculus. All right. Enough time.